In this step, we will create a multi-surface 5-axis toolpath to finish the part. We will finish the part using a tool axis control boundary instead of a chain. The boundary needs to be a closed chain, and it allows the tool to tilt more to reach all of the surfaces to be machined for a better finish. Make sure the first operation is selected. Right click and select copy, and then paste the operation. Click on parameters for operation number two. Select tool. Click on select library tool and click filter. Ensure the type is set to ball end mill and set the diameter to equal 1 8 and then press OK. Select the 1 8 ball end mill and press OK. Change the comment to finish the part using 5 axis multi surface toolpath with tool axis control to boundary. Select holder. Then select the C4C40025 holder. Select cut pattern. Change the stock to leave on drive surfaces to zero. A cross step over to point zero two and a long step over to point zero two. Click on tool axis control. Then click on select chain. Click select chain. Right click on the first chain and click delete chain. Then press OK, and press OK again. Change the type to Boundary, then click Select. Select this boundary, and press OK. Select Roughing, and disable Depth Cuts. Then press OK. If this error appears, select Create New Assembly and press OK. Click Regenerate Dirty Operations. and then backplot operation number two. When backplot is finished, press OK, and then press Alt-T to hide the toolpath display.